yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Deli. Ooh, oh, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Deli. Deli, Deli, yeah, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Deli. Ooh, oh, why don't you see? Like they know me, but you don't really know me. What's poppin' T Squad? Welcome back to the Rush Fam. Welcome back to another vlog, you guys. What's up, Callie? Oh, you guys know I just got my hair done. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta give this a real, a <gasps> real. Look, it matches my candy. And it matches your candy. We gotta give this a close look, Callie. Wow, your hair. Looks amazing. What's up, Eli? What's up? Where, oh, <laughs> what's up, bro? You yeeted me. I'm, I'm what? You yeeted me. I yeeted you? Yeah. Yeet? Yeet. He said, I yeeted him. Okay, I yeeted you. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, welcome back to the Rush Fam. I welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe because if you went with the squad, you ain't popping. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, T Squad. So, right now, you guys, we are starting the vlog in the evening, y'all. It is 6 p.m. What do you want to say so badly, bro? Yesterday what? at the doctor's, I, I went and I saw that I was four foot eight. And do you guys think I look small for that? Whoa, Elijah's four foot eight. Okay, let me show you guys the full view. Elijah is four foot eight. So what'd you say? Comment down below if you look small for that. All right, so comment down below if Elijah actually looks four foot eight or comment down below if he doesn't look four foot eight. Yo, Callie, come go back to back with it with Elijah. So if Elijah's four foot eight, that means Callie, you're like four foot six. Hey, big up yourself. <laughs> but anyways, back to what I was saying, you guys. We are starting the vlog in the evening, and we got a lot to talk about, T-Squad. Yo, Elijah, you have the most energy right now. As soon yeah. as I put the camera away from him, Elijah's like tapping me, like, what do you want to say now? Nothing. Nothing? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. you guys, look at my new. Oh, you got a design in your hair, too. That's yeah. what's up, bro, that's what's up. But anyways, you guys, we are opening this vlog to let y'all know that we are actually flying out on a trip tomorrow morning, super early. Callie, where are we going? Hey, that's right, you guys. Watch the whole vlog to find out. But I'm not coming. Oh, but you're not Just coming. Just kidding, but I have basketball and all those things. That's right, you guys. So Elijah's not coming, but Elijah has school, basketball, and something else. You can be good without me? Yeah. Yeah, you sure? But T-Squad, one thing I want to let you guys know, that for like the first time ever, or maybe the second time, in the history of all of our trips together as a family, we actually, believe it or not, we packed in advance, you guys. This is crazy. Elijah, do you understand how big of a deal this is? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because my tongue got tied? Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you something. I'm gonna come. Wait, it's upstairs. Oh. So go get it. I can't bring it down. It's too heavy. Okay, we'll Wait. go upstairs. We'll go upstairs in a second. But anyways, guys, like I was saying, we packed in advance, and I know that's like whatever. Who cares? But to us, to the Rush fam, that's a big deal, you guys, because we are last-minute packers to the fullest extent. We sometimes don't finish packing until literally like a couple hours before our flight, the morning of. But today, uh, we're actually in advance, you guys. We started packing yesterday, and I don't even know what to do with myself right now, which is why I'm vlogging. I'm packed, we're ready to go, and we just have to wait till it's bedtime to go to sleep so we can wake up and go on the trip, bruh. Wait, wait, you guys, you, you guys pack this fast? With all these things? Yeah. This fast? Yeah, that's just my suitcase, but all the other ones are packed too. Are you ready? Well, are you ready to not come? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my bad. Bro, even though Elijah's not sad he's not coming, I still feel bad. I'm gonna miss you, bro. But you're coming on the next trip. Yeah. Should we tell Jamaica. them? Oh, oh. oh wow. <laughs> I was gonna say, should we tell them? That's all right. Elijah just spilled the beans. We are going to <laughs> Jamaica. We are going to Jamaica very soon. And Elijah's coming on that one, right? Yeah. And then after, we're gonna go to a game. Hey, what kind of game? I don't know. I don't what? Know, a Raptors game, but I don't know who you're versus. Let's go! Hey, Kira! <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up? What are you doing up here? Oh, yeah? What's up, Camaro? Helping you now, just playing some Apex. Okay, are you excited? Come here, bro. Pause that. Come here. 
Are you excited for tomorrow? I'm so excited! Why, what's happening tomorrow? We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship Zooming through the sky, little Einstein Hey! <laughs> Come here, are you packed? Yep! Alright, so let's go! Come aboard! Get ready to explore. <laughs> but you guys, we have to we have to get into a very serious, very serious topic right now, okay? Callie has to reveal something to you guys that she's extremely proud of. This might be her most proud moment ever. And I can also say that this is gonna be something that will be life-changing for us as a family, especially me. Callie, should we reveal it to them? Yeah. What? Hey, what is it? Show them. Of walking. That's right, you guys. So Callie now has a luggage that she can ride on and she can be pulled. There's like a, a strap that I can attach and pull her because this little girl, even though her legs work perfectly fine, whenever we're at the airport and we're walking for a long time, what happens to your legs? They get sleepy. They get sleepy. <laughs> so I'm gonna be pulling Callie. How excited are you? Wait, are you more excited for the trip or more excited that you have a suitcase you can be pulled on? I'm excited I have a suitcase to pull. You're more excited for the suitcase? No, I'm excited for the trip. Yeah? Kiki, are you ready? Huh. Yeah? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, T-Squad, we just pulled up to the store. Callie, where we at? The candy store. So, you guys, we felt... Okay, like, I don't want to make this a bigger deal than it is. I, I was going to say we brought Elijah here to buy him some candy to cheer him up. But, like Elijah told you indoors, you guys, at the house, it's not that big of a deal. Because Elijah has basketball, Elijah has school, and Elijah has an opportunity. Swimming. He has swimming, but he also has an opportunity. I'm not going to say too much because it's not, it's not for me to tell you guys. Elijah will tell you when he's ready. But Elijah has a big week ahead of him while we're gone. But... We did want to give him a gift, so we pulled up to the candy store, and guess what, Elijah? Come here, come close. Uh -huh. Come close, bro. Come close. <laughs> you can get whatever you want. Are you serious? I'm serious, bro. Whatever. Whatever you want. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was so loud. <laughs> and Callie and Camaro, you guys can get whatever you want, too. Yes, go! All right, let's get it. All right, you guys, we made it, and guess what? what? You guys have five minutes to get whatever you want, bro. <laughs> Yo, T-Squad, I'm gonna give you guys the realest parent life hack right now, all right? All you gotta do if you wanna do something for your kids and, and make them, you wanna get brownie points with your kids or you wanna make them happy, bring them to any dollar store, okay? Don't say you're going to the dollar store. Say, I'm taking you to the candy store or to the toy store. And then when you get there, tell them they can get anything they want or tell them they can get 10 things and they're gonna go crazy. But even with the three kids, I'm only gonna be spending like 30, 40 dollars tops. So, life hack, they feel like they're getting the world, like they're getting everything they could ever dream of, but they're just getting a few things from the dollar store. So Parent life hack, you guys. <laughs> and you guys are getting exercise. I like this. Callie, where you at, girl? All right, yo, one of the last steps before the trip. You know, we gotta get fresh. We got Alan in the cut. Hey, Camille. Yeah? You, you get fresh or what, bro? Yeah. Yeah? Yo, Camille, get a, get, get a little what? zigzag or something. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? What'd you say? Get a zigzag? Get Hold on, you all like yours? Yeah. All right, so Camille, that's just saying get a zigzag. You wanna get a zigzag? Sure. Yeah? Alan, you gonna hook him up? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All I right, got him, right. I got him. All right, you need to get a design, Camaro. Okay. <laughs> you guys, every single time me or Camaro get haircuts, Kira's obsessed. Alan, she's waving to you again. Kira, what's poppin'? <laughs> so I think Kira actually wants to get a haircut, but Kira, you're not getting no haircut. Look, no matter when which way I turn, she's like, going back. When she's like four. When she's four? No, yeah. she's not Kathy gonna get. Got a haircut when she was four. I think she got a trim. You might get a trim one day, but Kira's <laughs> obsessed with the haircuts. Kira's a little too young. She's what? She's a little too young. She's only one. No, she doesn't need a haircut. We're gonna grow her hair long. I'm just saying she's obsessed with it. And if I don't hold her, she's gonna walk all up in the hair. But Kira, you're not getting no haircut, all right? Kira, okay? Huh? No, you're not. Bro, you fresh now, bro? How you feel? Good. You guys, this is the first time Camille got the design in like, I want to say like three, four years. Yo, Elijah, you up, bro? Are you? Elijah, you up?
All right, T-Squad, it looks like we're actually gonna be working out. Um, like I said, I want to get a late night workout in because we're traveling tomorrow and travel days are usually a write off, meaning a workout does not usually happen. So we're gonna get it in tonight. We've been going every day, you guys, so I do not want to miss an opportunity. Come here, are you going first or what? Yeah. Yeah? Where's your shoes though, bro? Where's your shoes? You gotta put your shoes on. No, see? We definitely have a lot of energy to burn out. Anyways, you guys, we're gonna get to it. Um, we're gonna actually see you guys in the morning. We're gonna put down the camera for the night. When we wake up, it's gonna be an early morning flight. And yo, let's go. I'm ready to escape the winter, man. I'm ready to escape the cold. <sighs> just, I just wanna be in a warm climate. That's it. Come here. You ready to escape the winter? Yeah! Good morning, T-Squad. It is time to head to the airport, and let me just say, everything is a hot mess right now. Kids are putting on their shoes, so we're making some progress there. Mara, you doing okay? Not really. So put on your other shoes. It's okay. He keeps saying it's okay. All right. Then we have Kiki. She keeps throwing stuff downstairs. Say good morning. <laughs> what did you throw down there today? Let's see if we can see it. Hmm. Nope. I don't know what you put. But yeah, we have another problem. I think we might not be able to fit everything in the trunk. I think we need to get a bigger car, babe. No, I think we have to. I literally think we have to. And Kira's only gonna get bigger. We all need our, our own suitcase when we're leaving for a whole week. And Kira has a duffel bag packed, and we have to bring her stroller. So that in itself is a struggle. Yo, right now, and four suitcases in the back is like all it can fit. But guess what? Right now, we have to decide what we're not bringing. Because we might not be able to bring either one of the suitcases or, or the one stroller. Of the kids. Or one of the kids. <laughs> but yo, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna bring the flag. Let's just rent a, a Tesla Cybertruck for a year. That's not even big enough. All right, you guys, we made it. Everything is in the car. It's a tight squeeze. Look how close I'm sitting right now. <laughs> There's like a hand space. Diaper bag is right here. Bay is sitting pretty close too. Yo, look how the kids are sitting though. I feel bad. I'm so uncomfortable. I can't even move my legs. Oh my gosh. So we have like duffel bag there, two backpacks here. Cakes is staying awake for the ride. Hey girl, it's early. You can sleep if you want. She has a song request and she's mad that we haven't played it yet. <laughs> and then the stroller is right behind me. And then there's four suitcases in the back. Plus a little carry-on that um, we got for Cali. Um, and that's it's a, it. That's it's official. it. Official. We need a bigger car. It's we official. need a bigger car because Kiki's only gonna get bigger, and then we need what? Five suitcases, yeah. or we learn to pack more compact, or pack less stuff. Pack less stuff. <laughs> yeah. Can that's, we do that though? That's a good one. I don't know if we can do that. Yeah, we definitely can. But well, we can try. Instead of bringing four or five pairs of shoes, you just bring shoes that can go with everything. Yo, tell that to yourself. You're the sneakerhead. Nice. We're all sneakerheads, but you're the one who started. Women have that more trend. needs. You can wear sneakers so, anywhere you go. So you're saying I have to pack. Less? No, your shoes are bigger. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna figure it out, but it seems like we need a bigger car. And as if things couldn't get any, um, I don't want to say worse because it's not really a bad day. Um, yeah, we had a little bit of a snowstorm last night, and apparently we're expecting up to 20 centimeters. There's tow trucks. I mean, I'm um, snow shovels and the salt trucks on the road. There's traffic when there usually isn't traffic to get to the airport right now, so. Y'all, we are driving safe. I think they're salt, I think they're salting the road over there. It's backed up over there. Canadian winter problems. Yeah, yep, that's why we're getting out of here. <laughs> we made it and we're three for three. You guys look super adorable, but it's time to wake up. Let's go, guys. You guys, I don't know how, but somehow, some way, we made the flight. We were running, legit running. Crazy. Like, I don't know how we made it. She's anyways. She's spitting out her sandwich on me. She's spitting out. Anyways, the whole game is here. Kali, you good? Camaro, you good? Nana, you good? Alright, we're good, Tees. You good, Keish? Could be better, but we made it, y'all. Kira. Kira.
You guys hear that sound? Babe, you think they can hear that? Yeah! Definitely. You guys hear that, right? That is the most peaceful sound after that airplane, after that flight. Babe, how hectic was today's flight? I honestly never thought we would have came that close to missing our flight. I think there was only one other time that happened. We were like I where seconds. We, were going. Yeah. we had a connecting flight and we almost missed it. That was literally just as bad. This one was worse. If they didn't wait, if they their plane got delayed by like 10 minutes, if that didn't happen, we would have missed it. Yeah, we would have missed it for sure. And then the actual flight itself was crazy. Kira was just doing the most. You the remember those days? The plane had to get de-iced. We yeah. had to wait for the plane to get de-iced too. Crazy. Ooh. But yo, do you remember the days when Kira would sleep the whole flight? Listen, I would pop the booby in her mouth and she would knock out for literally two-thirds of the flight. Not anymore. No. Now Kira does the most on the flights, you guys. She's jumping, screaming, trying to like just explore and we're stuck on the little seat on the airplane so it's not the same as it used to be. But we made it, you guys. And babe, come. We gotta talk to T-Squad, man. We made it and this isn't like a regular vacation, you guys. We're doing, we're here for a purpose and we didn't even tell you where we went or where we're at. You okay? She sees bees and she's like, Oh, the bee? The bee? Get out of here. All right, B's gone. But anyways, you guys, yeah, we're here for a purpose, for a reason, Ooh. and we didn't even tell you guys where we're at. Unless you guys saw on Keisha's Instagram, you guys didn't already follow us on Instagram because you get the inside scoop on Come stuff, on man. But babe, you want to tell them where we're at? Absolutely, y'all. Where we, we are at? in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, we're a little bit outside of Phoenix, but we're in Arizona, y'all. Hey, Phoenix, Arizona, you yes. guys. It is our first time here. Like we mm -hmm. said, we're not just here for a vacation. We're gonna explain over the next couple vlogs in more detail what we're doing here. And you guys are gonna see, we're gonna bring you along with us. We're here for an important purpose, an but important for now. task. An important task, very important. <laughs> but for now, you guys, we just settled into our spot. We just need to unwind because it was a long day. It was a long day. It was Bro. a long flight. Kiki just, she was all over the place. And I was just like, I need a break. As soon as we got the stroller, I'm like, that's all you, girl. <laughs> right? And we've been up since what, like 4.30 a.m.? I didn't even sleep that much. I think I went to sleep around 2 a.m. So you didn't get no sleep? Nah. I slept on the plane, though. Yeah. So you guys are wondering what that sound is. And I was telling you guys, it's a very peaceful sound. Hey. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna show you guys everything right now because we're definitely gonna be doing a mansion tour. The video after this will be the mansion tour here in Phoenix. So I'm not gonna show you too much, but this vibe right here, oh my gosh, you guys, like, yo, that's all I'm gonna show you right now. But if this is not vibes, babe, are we gonna hop in or what? Hot tub vibes? Hot tub vibes? Just might. No! You know you will never see tomorrow. I'll never see tomorrow? Never. Guys, should I throw her in? I'll take you with me. Hold on, can I still lift you? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> what, what? What will happen? What will happen? Actually, I can't swear to God, but. What will happen? You don't want to know. Will we get a divorce if I throw you in? Absolutely. Are you serious? Expeditiously. Wow. From one incident like that? Yeah, you are not messing up this lace, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're off the hook, don't worry. <laughs> hey, Kira. Where are you going? Let me get Kira. a picture of you. Say cheese. <laughs> cheese. Kira's like, what are you guys doing out there? You guys want to come out? Yay! Hey, girls. Yeah. Camaro, yeah. we did not come to this beautiful place, beautiful house, beautiful sunshine, beautiful palm trees to be playing on video no! games, bro. We did not come here to it's play on video games. Time. Put it down. Put it down. I'm not. I'm not asking you. I'm. T put it down. Enjoy nature. Enjoy the backyard. Yeah. Put it away, babe. Take his thing. Take. Take it. Wait, no, we're not doing this this week. Nope. Take it. Take. Hey. I'll throw it in the pool. He's cornered. I'll He's give cornered. me it. It's going Tackle. in the pool. Tackle. Pass it. Pass it. Tackle. Take him down. Take him down. <laughs> <laughs> give me it. It's going in the pool. No. It's going no. in the pool. It's going in. It's going in. It's going in. Here we go. T squad. Should I do it? No. Yeah. Oh, we got one vote for yeah, Camaro. Should I? No, mom said yes. Mom, mommy, what do you think? You get half a vote. If I, I give it back to you, are you gonna chill with us and be outside in nature and put down the video Daddy, game? Yes. Promise. Oh. Promise. Let me Stay let me see your face. Do you mean it? Yes. All right. Thank do you. not do not turn it on for 48 hours. 48 hours. All right, y'all. So I think you guys may have noticed by now, Callie has gotten the yellow fever, y'all. She has yellow braids, yellow shirt, yellow pants, yellow shoes, okay? Her favorite color is yellow now, and she just had to put it on display today. 
Callie, can we just take a look at your drip drip today? Yeah. Okay, girl. So, lemonade braids on fleek. Then she's got Life is Sweet. This is uh, Dippin' Dots and Justice. I got this outfit from Justice, y'all. This smells is not, yummy. I know. It smells good, too. This I is not sponsored, y'all. This is not sponsored. It's smell just super it. cute. Smell it. Mmm. You guys smell it. Mmm. <laughs> then she got the pants. The pants say, what do the pants say? Dot. And then she got some fresh Jordan ones with. Candy. Ooh, she got them flowers stitched on the side. Fun fact who had these shoes first and then Callie loved them so much? Kira. Kira got them. Yeah, I got a question though. <laughs> Callie, question for you. When did it switch from pink to yellow? Because throughout her whole life, up until recently, she was all about her pink. It was hands down pink. When did it switch? I don't know. What made it happen? Why did you start loving yellow? Because everything's yellow, and I like the bright colors. Yeah, and yellow looks good on you too, girl. So you go ahead and slay, okay? Come and slay for us, Callie. Let's see you slay. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. oh drop it low. Okay, girl. Only at home. <laughs> Y'all thought I was done? Well, I'm not. Camaro has got the drip down pack today, too. Okay. Yeah. What we got? Okay, you got camel going on. What? You ain't got no shoes on? Nope. Come on, bro. Can I try? Wait. <laughs> try to go fast. I love your outfit, too, Camaro. Thanks. Looks really nice on you. Thanks. <laughs> Let me just out. say that ever since Camaro's been getting older, I want to say the last two years, it's been hard for me to shop for him. Um, mothers, parents out there that have a kid around Camaro's age, I want to say around 8 to 10 years old and obviously continuing on. It's so hard to shop for them. Like, it's so hard to find nice things for them. I feel like everything is so plain and whatnot. And like, I'm not complaining. Obviously, putting clothes on the children's back is the most important thing. But you know, sometimes you want to swag up your kids. And it's just, I don't know if it's just me going through this. Let me know in the comments down below, y'all. And I would love some recommendations where I could find some swaggy stuff for people, for kids around Camaro's age. Um, he used to be like a Gap baby. I used to love putting him in Gap. Now that he's older, the selection, what, what, what is going on? What are you guys doing? Oh, uh, Callie, that is a one person machine. Callie, wait your turn. You guys, hey, hey, okay. We, hey, hey no. okay, listen, we need to get along. It's not me. Stop yelling. Are you it's not me. Okay, so, Camaro. okay, listen. Let me tell you, let me tell you guys something. You guys are stuck with each other for life. No, not for life. For life. No. For life. Okay, No, I'm gonna be that when I'm older. So, we are gonna get along on this trip, okay? No. No? Okay, well then I think you're gonna go take a nap. No! Well then, stop being rude. But I'm not. Camaro, you be nice too. I, I didn't even do anything. Okay, all I'm saying is we're gonna get along, okay? We're, we yeah, got you this. Did. We got this. Let's apologize no, together. I didn't. Let's apologize to each other now. Sorry. We're waiting. 10 seconds before you go to bed. Okay, Callie will see us a little bit later, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. So then say sorry and you guys will be nice to each other. I already said sorry. I'm just waiting for her. 10. All right, say bye to everyone. Time to go. T Squad, we've only been here for like just over like maybe half an hour. Callie and Camaro, guess what they did already? Just guess. Wild guess. You guys, I know what to film. Watch this. Well, let's see. Hey. Guys, what? Ready? I'm going to get my hair under. All right, let's see. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> How's the temperature in there? It's like super warm. Yeah? Oh, so right cold. now the it's hot tub cold. is warm. The pool is still warming up. So the pool is probably going to be like ready for us by later tonight. And this is what Callie and Camaro been missing. Wait. This is what y'all been missing in your is lives. Is it chlorine? Huh? Is it chlorine? Probably. You guys are good though? Yeah. You want to join them? Yeah? All right, we're gonna go in soon, okay? All right, guys, so we're about to do a little bit of adulting because y'all know me and Keisha are with these kids 24 seven. What you doing, bae? You know, just getting a little relaxer. Yeah? A little relaxing spritzer. <laughs> so we're setting the vibe right off the bat. <laughs> Sorry, let me just say. What? Kiki always calls me and goes, mommy. Mommy. E -a, e -a. E -a. And it's because she likes the song, The Box. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. E -a. <laughs> you guys, Camaro's about to do something crazy right now. The pool is not heated yet. It's still. Are you gonna jump in or not? Are you a savage? Camaro's scared, you guys. Camaro, you scared, bruh? 
Wow! Yes, I'm gonna do it! Camaro, I thought you were a savage, fam. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> it's how this time I'm gonna do, I promise. <laughs> Callie, you're gonna jump in there? It's cold, you know. It's cold, you know. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it this time. You're gonna do it? Alright, bro. No false advertising, though. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it, bro. All right, jump, jump in right there. Huh? Jump in right there. Okay. You got it. Five, four, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys stop running. Stop running, it's not safe. Yeah, like I was saying, the pool, you guys, is not warm yet. It's gonna be warm in a couple hours. Let me see. Woo, yeah, that's cold. I don't know how you did that, Camaro. That's cold, bro. All right, you guys, we have had a very long day. We've barely eaten, we've barely slept. Ooh. It is time. What, what time is it, babe? It's time to eat. It is feast time, you guys. We just ordered a whole bunch of food. You know what I mean? Trying to um, eat yeah. good, live yeah. good. Yeah. Huh? Nana, no, no. are close. you gonna, give me, a, give me three words to bless the food. Three words or less. Lord Jesus, thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for blessing <laughs> us. Thank you for this food. Help it to be nourishing to our bodies. Bless all those that we have at this time there, Lord. Provide for them. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 That was beautiful, but that was way more than three words. <laughs> <laughs> also, you guys, we got some pizza. Can't go wrong with pizza. Yo, you got three pizzas, babe? Yeah. Wow. You know, like if it gets late and you know, we just want to throw something, warm it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have something here, you know? That's it. So first feast of the Arizona trip, let's get it. T-Squad, y'all know, I've talked about this consistently ever since I started vlogging, all right? For years, I've been talking about every year, I try to win dad of the year. Being a good dad is everything to me, but I'm not just trying to be a good dad, I'm trying to be the best dad. That's right, it's a competition, um, but I'm just in competition with myself to be the best dad I can be every year, and I try to just be the best dad I can possibly be. And even when I get to that point, I try to, okay, how can it be even a better dad? I love being a dad. So, how could I win father of the year if I didn't do stuff like this? What the heck? Uh -huh. You guys are sleeping? Yup. Wow, but yo, you guys, Callie, Camaro, I heard someone, I don't know who it was, but I heard someone ordered a very special request Ooh. to eat their dinner in the hot tub. That was You guys us. know who it was? Yup. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Um, do you guys love me? Yup. You think I have any chance of winning dad of the year? Yup. Yep. All right, well, here you go, guys. <gasps> what did you get? I you Cheese Pizza. slice for Callie, pepperoni slice for Camaro. You guys are having fun? Uh-huh. Yeah. Love you. Shake it off, girl. Shake it, 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 shake it. Is it good, Camaro? All right, I'll get it for you. Love you guys. All right, T Squad. Everyone is going to sleep. Nana's going to sleep. Keisha's like sleepwalking right there. Kira's sleeping. Callie's sleeping. Camaro is acting like he's not tired. I don't know. I, I know you're tired, bro. Camaro just wants to act like a big tough guy and act like he's not tired. But you tired, bro. I can see it in your eyes. Are you, you going tired? to bed right now? You only gonna go to bed if I'm going to bed? Yeah. Aw. I love you, son. Me too. <laughs> I think I might go to bed too. I'm tired myself. We're all tired, you guys. Anyways, it was a great first day. It was a very long day, as we told you guys. It was it was a very great day. We made it. Um, we're all safe. We're all happy. We're in. Um, a warmer climate, we escaped the cold. Bro. The only time it's freezing is in the nighttime. It does, yo, okay, we did not know how cold Arizona or Phoenix gets in the night. Like, we, me and Keisha went out tonight to get some groceries, and it is very, very cold in the night, but we can't complain because it's still a whole lot warmer than Toronto, and during the day, it's pretty damn warm. So, we're happy, we're not complaining. Um, anyways, you guys, if you made it to the end of the vlog, Make sure, first of all, you smash a thumbs up because we gave you guys another lit vlog. And make sure you subscribe because if you went with the squad, you went bopping. And we, like I said, you guys, we have so many amazing videos coming your guys' way. This week, we're going to be filming and vlogging the whole entire week. So drop a comment if you're excited. Smash a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, T-Squad. Love you guys.